Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. So guys, this is again a viewer's choice video where one or more than one of our viewers has asked, can you have a video on email themes in Geeklog? How we can customize that? So today we will see how we can customize the email in Geeklog. Let's get started. Yeah, so right now we have logged into our Geeklog instance. So I am running Geeklog 18 version. So we are at the realm settings and if we go to themes, right? So we can see we can customize theme for login, account, admin console, email. So in one of my previous videos, I have talked about the login theme where I have customized the login theme. So today we'll see this one email theme. Okay. So by default, if you see by default, it will be a key clock. Okay. Or you can have base. So right now what you see, you can see email theme and email theme copy. This is the themes which I have uh, designed, but we'll see the demo from the scratch. Okay. So what we have to do, this is your key clock 18 setup. There is a folder called themes directly go to that themes folder and you need to create uh, your theme name. For example, I will. Uh, start from the scratch and I will say email demo theme within this email demo theme we need to say which theme we want to override for example we are saying email okay now within this email you need to have a theme dot properties okay so we'll quickly copy theme dot properties from here okay and we'll copy this structure as well this is currently blank okay so now what this theme dot properties will have it is saying that parent equal to base so you can make the parent as any of the th existing themes for example you can say parent equal to key clock key clock theme okay or if you create your own custom theme you can make a parent and that custom theme and you can extend that particular theme so right now parent equal to base now you must be wondering what is this html messages and text folders okay so let's not worry so what you need to do to find the structure of the email themes or the login themes or the security admin console theme what you need to do you need to go to this you need to go to key clock 18 or maybe it's 18.1 or 17 setup within this go to live and within live again go to uh, main okay so key clock 18 slash live slash live slash main okay so here we need to search for org dot key clock okay so here we have org dot key clock and then we have to go and search for themes yeah so this one you can see org key clock themes right so if you try to open this one right let's open this archive and you can see there is a folder called themes again if you want to relate you can relate to this one so this is the themes folder okay again this is the themes folder within that this is the name of my themes okay if i go under here then this is the name of the theme i have given then within base you go and you see login email admin account right so for login thing uh, theme you need to work on this folder for account theme you can work for this folder and right now for this video we are looking at the email theme okay so here we are this is my email demo theme and within that i have email okay so let's go to email here now you can see these three folders text messages and html okay so uh, this key clock uses free marker templates for the themes okay so what we can do so this ma mail email has both the parts right either uh, you can see in the html content or text content as well okay i will show you that one so let's do one thing i will go to text and 
there is a uh, email test dot ftl so this email test dot ftl is used to uh, validate your connection email connection so what we can do we can just copy this one themes folder okay themes and email demo theme and then text okay because this is the text one okay so now if we go to text we have this email test right if we open it it is saying that uh, the message is email test body and rel name so this email test body will come under messages okay so we'll go to messages and because this uh, key clock support internationalization right so we'll just go and select for english okay so we'll again copy this as well and we'll copy it in our messages email demo theme and then messages so i've just copied it and i'll search for this email test body okay so let's go to the messages let me show you so email test body you can see we have email test body and email test body html because i was saying that when you render a email right it can be viewed both as a text content and html content okay so i will not make any changes over here and we'll see how this changes will reflect okay so i will again refresh the screen okay go to the email themes and i can select email demo theme this is what we have prepared okay i will save it and go to email uh, this again in my previous videos you can see i have configured the values for mail hog so this utility is to test in your local environment because the gmail and other uh, smtp servers they have very high security nowadays for gmail at least i can say so you need to mod modify your uh, account settings so for testing we'll use mail hog i click on test connection okay so we can see we received one message this is a test message okay the same message come is coming here okay so let's go and change it we'll say hooray we have updated so now this i have changed in html i'll change it for uh, text also okay now let's go again and click on test connection yeah so you can see html rendered is hooray we have updated plain text hooray we have updated okay so this is how we are modifying the uh, emails okay what what next you can do it's up to you because this is the html content okay uh, let me copy the html as well or maybe uh, what we can do let's let's take another example okay so we'll go to html right and we'll go with password reset okay we'll copy this password reset to our html folder then we'll go to themes email demo theme html and okay okay yeah so now this is copied here i'll we'll go to html and password reset okay now this is uh, the play html okay so uh, these messages right password reset body html again it is coming from your messages properties okay so we we'll click on find next so we have this one again so when we are saying this someone just requested to change your uh, like second parameter in curly braces accounts credential if this was you click on the link below to reset and in href we have given a zero one so you can see right zero is the link which will pass to the message body okay so this is how we can understand how how it works okay so okay now what we will do we'll have the image as well here so i'm using a image tag where i'm passing the image link 
ओके सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू की क्लॉक ओके आई विल साइन आउट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड क्लिक ऑन फॉरगेट पासवर्ड सो आई एम सेइंग दैट आई फॉरगेट माय पासवर्ड सो नाउ आइडली वी शुड रिसीव एन ईमेल एंड यस अ फ्यू सेकंड्स अगो वी गॉट रीसेट पासवर्ड नाउ यू कैन सी वी आर गेटिंग दैट इमेज एज वेल okay now you can make further changes as well okay for example i want to say thanks and regards and i will put a break and okay so now again i will say that forgot password just to test the functionality yeah so you can see that we have added the signature as well okay so this was it for email customization you can do lot of things over here you can put the background and whatever things you want to do just you need to play around with this uh, templates okay one is html and one is text one okay so both the things you can play around now again uh, what we will do we'll summarize what we have done so far so you need to go to your installation folder where there will be a folder for themes go to themes create a folder with the name of the theme which you want to say for example we have email demo theme which i have shown in this you need to create a folder which uh, talks about the customization you are going to do and this will relate to right for example you are doing email you will make a folder for email if you are doing for login you will provide the folder for login and within email the structure you need to take a cue from here okay so from this library you can go to uh, uh, this one theme folder then you go to base here you can see that i want to customize email go to email copy the structure okay so we have copied the structure theme dot properties is mandatory uh, where we are saying that a parent will be base right so that's what we have done and subsequently whatever the files you want to override then you can just copy that file to here right and you can make the necessary changes as required okay so we have made the changes in the text where we have in the test mail we have added hurray right and in html we have changed for password reset and we have seen these many things here okay so i hope you will like the content and please try it out and let me know whether you were able to do it if you are facing any issues youtube comments are there you can put the comments in the uh, video if you like the content please share this video with your teams colleagues and do subscribe to the channel thanks a lot